Duct tape, truly a versatile and ever useful product. It's used for household repairs, shipping around the world, and even craft projects. It's available in a lot of cool colors and patterns, and no toolbox is ever truly complete without it. But looky here, there's a new tape in town. The name is Flex Tape. What's happening? I'm your host, The Notorious Nick, and I'm here to tell you the sticky truth about flex tape. Pitch man extraordinaire Phil Swift has become a household name as the face of the Flex Seal family of products. He promotes flex tape's adhesive power by sealing up leaky pipes and containers in a matter of seconds. The pièce de résistance of his product demos is repairing boats. You know the ad. They've been cut in half or built out of chicken wire, even shot with cannons. I mean, what does this guy have against boats? But what we want to find out is whether his claims actually hold water or whether they sink straight to the bottom. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button for us and subscribe to our channel so we can notify you whenever we drop a new video. Now it's time to unroll your chairs, peel your eyes open, and stick to your seats as we show you If you can't fix it, duck it. During World War II, Vesta Stout wrote to Franklin D. Roosevelt with a modest proposal. She worked in an ordnance factory and was concerned that breaking the seals on ammunition boxes would cost soldiers precious time in battle. And as the proud mother of two U.S. Navy sailors, she had personal reason for concern. She suggested using a special cloth tape, one that she had tested at her factory and was designed to be torn by hand. FDR passed her idea directly to the War Production Board, and they commissioned Johnson & Johnson to develop the new product. The rest, as they say, is history. A handyman in a can. In 2011, Phil and Alan Swift promoted Flex Seal as a handyman in a can. They demoed the product, subjecting it to both a blowtorch and dry ice. Ad agencies are big believers in the power of three, and no story is ever complete without a third act. So they replaced the bottom of a fishing boat with a screen door. We replaced the bottom of this boat with a screen door. He covered it in Flex Seal. And it floated after they treated the screen with Flex Seal. Swift response quickly released Flex Tape as a follow up. Phil Swift patches up several large display tanks from the outside and from the inside before sawing a boat in half. and then making it seaworthy again. But wait, there's more. Phil also decided to shoot holes in a boat with a cannon. Ready? And then seal it up with flex shot. He might be as bad for boats as an oil tanker captain after last call, but at least he patches them up afterward. The boat floats, but it looks about as bad as the time I tried to glue mom's old Elvis cookie jar back together. And my brother and I were never allowed to play football in the house again. Behind the scenes. It's no secret that advertisers create fantasy worlds when they shoot product demos. When we order a cheeseburger, it never looks as perfect as it did in the ads. And a box of cereal always looks healthier when it's put under three-point lighting and slowly spun on a turntable. In the cutthroat world of home improvement advertising, there are definitely plenty of tricks of the trade when it comes to demonstrating the inferiority of a competitor's products. Case in point, we can see for ourselves that the duct tape job used to repair this leaky pipe was strictly amateur night. We've all seen the ad late night on TV, maybe also under the influence a bit. And we know we could have all done a way better job than that bonehead. Flex Paste Max is a thick rubberized paste that fills massive cracks and holes. But when it comes to demonstrating their own products, they shoot the demos under the most favorable conditions. When you watch the Flex Shot Cannon demo, the fine print clearly states that the boat received multiple coats over multiple days. It was not a quick fix. Inside Edition. Inside Edition and other local TV stations have done their own testing with varying degrees of success. Their hired muscle managed to lift a 45 pound weight for the same three reps just like Phil did. But look what happened when he tried to go 12 reps. That'll teach him to show off. They were able to instantly seal water leaks in the good housekeeping lab. 
It looks like it worked. Wow. But perhaps the next thing they need to do is find a product that can clean that tank. Gross. Deborah Norville suggested that some of Phil Swift's claims might have been slightly exaggerated, but did conclude that Flex Tape was a good product. I think it was overhyped on the commercial that they kind of exaggerated some of the claims, but I do think that it was very impressive, and in a pinch, it's a great substitute for being able to hold something together. She also said the company reported that most of the problems they observed in independent testing involved Flex Tape being applied improperly. People told us they've had an overwhelmingly positive response and say when the product doesn't perform as expected, it's typically because it wasn't applied correctly. If you read the fine print on the boat demo, you'll see they use 12-inch wide flex tape inside and outside the boat. Swift Response also recommends that the tape be applied to a clean, dry surface and allowed to rest for at least a full day. Consumer Reports put Flex Seal to the test by making a scale model that kept a teddy bear high and dry. All aboard! All aboard, mateys! Cause it worked! Unfortunately, they weren't as successful sealing up leaky gutters. <laughs> Flex Seal did work great on their flower pots, but took a couple coats of paint to cover up. NASCAR. Swift Response has co-sponsored a car in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, along with JD Motorsports. Sophomore phenom Garrett Smithley was driving the number zero flex shot Chevrolet Camaro at Daytona in the 2017 PowerShares QQQ300 when he got involved in the big one. The two and a half mile long Daytona International Speedway is one of NASCAR's fastest tracks, where drafting and aerodynamics are hugely important. Super speedways are also notorious for huge multi-car wrecks, and this race was no exception. After the crash, I didn't know if we were going to be able to get back out on the track. I thought we were done. And early wreck collected nearly half the pack. When the red flag was lifted, the pit crew had five minutes to get the car back on the track. Fortunately, and obviously, they had plenty of flex tape. The crew repaired something besides a boat for once. As soon as we hit pit road, we grabbed the flex tape, went out there. And Smith Lee got a top 10 finish. Finishing in the top 10 at Daytona is always a huge accomplishment. In fact, only 20 of the starting 40 drivers even even finish the race. Our crack team of crackpot researchers learn that the NASCAR teams usually use a tape called Bear Bond to repair body damage, but we couldn't find a head-to-head -head comparison between the two products. NASCAR doesn't require pit crews to use any specific brand of tape as long as it keeps debris off the track. Obviously, NASCAR is a very expensive sport, and sponsors pay through the nose for every decal on the fender and every patch on the driver's fire suits. It's not unusual for a sponsor to exploit an opportunity for guerrilla marketing. After a different wreck at Daytona in 2012, cleanup crews discovered a new use for laundry detergent, which longtime NASCAR sponsor Tide turned into an advertisement, of course. We're pretty sure NASCAR Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip would approve. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Inside Edition 2, Flex Paste. When Flex Paste came out, our old buddy Phil demonstrated its ability to repair chainsaw damage on a wooden wine barrel and even seal up a chicken wire boat. Well, we decided to give it a try and actually built a boat with it. This got Inside Edition's attention once again, and they decided to test the claims for themselves. Should I be worried, though, that it's going to sink? I don't think so. I think there's a greater than 90% chance that it'll stay afloat for you. Both tests were a smashing success. So far, it's holding up. There's no uh, water leaking in. This thing's working pretty good. And no one was happier than the man himself. Absolutely flex-tastic. Can it stop a bullet? Let's start by saying Swift Response has never claimed their product can stop a bullet. But on the internet, inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. Please don't try this at home. One blogger determined that 80 layers of flex tape could stop a 22 round, but just barely. It's got a dent in it. It didn't go through, it just dented it. The cardboard behind Flex Tape Mountain was dented, but not torn. But the 80 layers of tape were no contest for a PS90 or a 9mm round. There's our hit. Tore right through it. Made a much bigger exit hole than 22 long rifle. A follow up video featured a Flex Seal bulletproof vest that managed to stop a 9mm round. But the outer layer of his armor wasn't fully dry. All the little dots. That is from our shot hitting it. And the target dummy bled flex seal. Mm. 
Oh, it's gonna be really sad if this thing busts through. Social media response. The Flex Seal family of products has definitely captured the attention of a lot of people, with large amounts of both creativity and spare time. Their webpage features links to all sorts of independent product demos, and they sometimes hook up bloggers and social media personalities with enough product to develop some interesting tests of their own. So hey, Flex Tape, hit us up. It really is such a versatile product with so many uses. Honestly, what will they think of next? Some people think they can eat the Flexio family of products. You can. Don't eat them. And we hope something we said stuck with you. The Suits wanted me to remind everyone that this video is strictly for entertainment and not a product endorsement. Having said that, if you have stories, we want to hear them. Do these products live up to the hype? Did the Flex Seal family of products save the day for you? Did it save your life? Did it ruin your boat? Please let us know. As always, please smash that thumbs up for us and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat. Thanks for sticking around and come back often so we can tell you what